Well, good morning, fellow YouTubers. So, just following up on my proposed science experiment regarding cleaning up the burnt copper, I decided rather than going out and buying two jugs of vinegar, I'm just going to try a little bit. So I've got this container. And I'll just put what I've got for vinegar in here. I'm not sure how much, but uh, this will tell me. And I'll just give it a try with a small piece, small piece of copper and just see what it does. Rather than wasting two jugs. i got to remember to replace this before the household needs some vinegar, only to find out it's all gone. Questions will be asked. So I'm just going to put in a tablespoon of salt. Not sure what the salt does. Just all the YouTube recipes seem to ask for it. milliliters for all of our metric friends and it's about three quarters of a quart so now I just want to get a small piece that I'll totally submerge set a day I guess and we'll see what happens so my uh, good buddy Rafael had a good idea he said if you're gonna do all of it do it shortly before you uh, take it in just so it doesn't tarnish again good thinking so if this actually works and cleans up well then I'll just uh, put it aside and see how long it takes to Turnish up if it does. So, like I say, 750 milliliters, one tablespoon of salt. We'll see what that does. So, stay tuned in a day or so. I'll come back to this and uh, we'll see what we got. Well, hello there. So, it is now Saturday morning, going on 11:30. So I only meant to soak this copper wire for a day or two, but somehow the week has evaporated. Just haven't had a chance to get out here and have a look. But it definitely cleans it up. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, uh, it's better. It's not perfectly clean, though. Some of these individual strands got a bit better. Still not bright and shiny, though, by any measure. I think I wasn't uh, thinking in consideration that burnt wire, when you uh, heat copper up, it gets quite soft, annealed. But yes, vinegar does actually do a pretty good job of cleaning copper up. Am I going to try and clean that whole bucket of it up? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to take it in separately the way it is. Hopefully I get number two for it. I think I'll take my chances on that. Yeah, it's pretty good though, considering how dirty it was. It's definitely not bright and shiny, though. Know. Neither bright and shiny, vinegar. Fair difference. But, yeah, like I say, I don't believe. Uh, I'm going to try that. So, I'll just take my chances. See if I get number two, hopefully. Anyways, that's the result of the great vinegar and uh, dirty wire experiment. Oh, <laughs> you can make your hands green too. Okay, bye for now.